Oh, hi there guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Elibit, uh, a game for the Wii that came out near launch. This is one of my, I'm not going to say favorite games of all time, but it's a game that I like a lot, and it's very underrated in my opinion, so we're going to be playing it, why not? I've wanted to do it for a long time, but bad uh, things just kept happening. And I know I said I was going to be doing Super Mario Bros. X next, uh, Super Boogaloo World instead, but unfortunately, due to Fraps just going absolutely crazy, uh things are not gonna happen anyways we're gonna be starting a new file of course and i'll be playing through the story mode and then we'll go through multiplayer and edit later and of course extras maybe another part um but anyways i'll explain more once we see this opening cutscene. so prepare for the best voice acting you have ever heard in your entire life just one more story i promise i'll go to sleep after that Okay, I'll read you one more, but then it's off to sleep. My name is Kai, and, and I, I hate Elibit. My mom and dad study Elibit, and they love him even more than me. Elibits came from a great big bolt of lightning. It struck years and years before you were even born, Kai. They've been friends with people for a long, long time. I wish there was no such thing as lightning. Then I bet the Elibits would never have shown up. And if there were no Elibits, Mom and Dad would take me out to an amusement park or something, right? Hey, everything's gone dark. What do I do now? I don't know what happened, but the whole town is in a panic. Mom and Dad rushed over to their research lab and left me at home. But I don't care. My favorite show will be on TV soon. Huh? Why doesn't the TV work? Oh, that's right. Electricity and cars only work because of elements, you know. You wouldn't even be able to watch TV without them. So, I guess this is all the Elibit's fault? But I don't want to pick them up with my bare hands. I know. I'll use Dad's capture gun. Sounds like a dandy idea. A kid with a gun. Absolutely wonderful. Especially while his parents are away. Even better, this has never ended badly, ever. Never have heard anything in the news about anything of the sort. Anyways, welcome to Elvis. This is the first mission. Uh, wow, there's gonna be a lot of explaining to do because this is a game that I'm assuming nobody here has seen or played before because I swear to god it's underrated. Uh, of course for the Wii it has a motion control and uh, it's a physics-based shooter is what I'm going to call it. Um, so we got this capture gun here, and uh, what we can do with it, we of course use it to capture elevates, hence the name capture gun, and uh, elevates will give us watts, which are right up there in the corner. The more and more watts you get, the more things you can turn on and they'll be powered. Once you power up an object, it will drop what are called high power elevates, aka these guys. Uh, the pink ones are stronger than the yellow ones, and uh, they will start to upgrade that thing in the bottom left. If you notice, we can pick up things like this, so uh, it's great to use that. And, uh, oh, sorry, I was just checking over because something was happening with the screen. Um, and, uh, as you pick up more high power elbits, you can pick up more things to find more elbits. And, uh, you have to re reach a, uh, watt requirement every single level in order to finish the level. And all the elbits have different powers, and they, uh, they all have different watt amounts. And it also, uh, it depends on their emotions, too is another factor to how many watts you're going to get from an element, which is just a neat little gimmick. And uh, we'll be lifting up tons of just random heavy things as the game goes on, because this gun can get super powerful. It doesn't carry over um, the amount of weight you could carry from the last stage. It resets after every stage, but it's nice and we'll be able to pick up some really heavy things. I really want to get whatever's in that piggy bank. I'm pretty sure it's a pink element. I hear a red element crying. I don't know where it is. Also, if you get enough energy in one room, uh, it will start to 
fill up that in the corner there. Pink elements, there are three of them in every stage. They don't actually give you any sort of wattage, but if you get all three of them, uh, you can unlock a whole bunch of secret stuff. In fact, we actually need to get three of them in a few stages to unlock some secret abilities. And uh, the more of you, them you find, the more abilities you can- or not abilities, uh, the more extra modes you can unlock for a level. Which is neat. This is the first level, so it's supposed to be really easy. I mean, we already powered on the room, which is just wonderful. Occasionally, or not occasionally, eventually, these levels will get really, really long, like 25 minutes long, and they'll just be humongous. And it'll take, like, almost a full minute to walk across the entire thing. And, uh, those levels are really fun, although extremely long and a pain in the ass if you fail, because that means you have to redo the entire thing. And that's just annoying. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. If I think of anything else, I'll start talking about it, but... It's a, it's a very fun game. It's fun to mess around with all the things, because it's physics-based. Ooh, pink elephant. Gotta get it. Alright. And, uh, I suggest picking it up, if you ever find it in, like, GameStop or something. I've seen it at GameStop once, and, uh, it was released, I think, in January 2007 for the Wii. And, uh, considering the Wii came out in, what, December of 2006? November of 2006? I don't remember. This was a pretty early game, so I find it very fun. And we already finished the level, which is great. But I'm going to keep playing this one since it's so long. Or it's so short, whatever. <laughs> Obviously not long. Oh, also you may have noticed that I'm, I keep ducking down and crouching up. If you press C on the nunchuck, you'll go up. If you press Z on the nunchuck, you'll go down. And that's used to get elements in tighter locations, but you'll move slower while it's happening. Unless you get a specific power-up in the future, and I'm gonna hope I get that. I might have to look up where the pink elements are. Also might as well show off the fact that we can interact with some stuff. Ooh, pink elephant! Gotta get that. Alright. Now we got all those in the stage. Um, also there are things like these, which is an EM- this one's an EM pulse ball, and it just knocks out all elements. Uh, it makes them really easy to catch if they're running fast, it's okay in a few levels later in the game. And uh, if elements are crying, I sort of use them because I get more watts out of them. But in this first level, it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, here's one of the first things that we can actually interact with in the game, which is these blocks. There's just a whole bunch of random assorted puzzles located around a lot of the levels, and uh, if you solve them, you get more elements, which is just tons of fun. The plot of this game is really stupid. I'm just going to throw that out there. And actually, there's a sequel to this game on the DS, but it's nothing like this game at all. Absolutely not. The other one kind of seems a little bit like Pokemon, I don't know. At least as far as the map looks and stuff. I don't know. I don't think it was an RPG, though. Oh, and you can see in the bottom right-hand corner how much something weighs. It's measured in kilograms, which is not a measurement of weight as much as it is mass, but... Um, you can see the weight of it. And uh, you can see if it's breakable, or if it's a special item like this, and uh, if it's also electronic, which is shown there. And a couple of levels in the future will work around this whole breaking idea. And those levels are really annoying, I'll be honest. I like this game, but those ones are super annoying and I don't really care for them. I'm just gonna throw the Wii over there. And the more pink elements you find, you can also unlock some stuff for level editor mode. So that's an incentive to go out and find all the pink elephants, but I haven't found all of them in this game before. I haven't played this game in a long time. I just want to throw this stuff out of the way. Ooh. Get out of here! The rooms will get very messy in the future. And occasionally you'll get punished for that in the future as well. And I'm not looking forward to that either. It's hard to get around until you get a whole bunch of upgrades. And of course, I'm going to be trying to get those. But, uh, anyways, you may be wondering why I'm doing this game rather than Super Boogaloo World, which I promised I was going to do beforehand. It's a game that I really wanted to show off because it's a game that me and uh, a couple of other people have been working on, which you can, of course, download in every single uh, episode I do of anything. But, uh, what is that on there? I was just wondering, it kind of looked like Mario. But, uh, Fraps is just being really mean, so I couldn't do it. Oh, hey, it's the generic action figure, dude. Um, what, what was the name of that thing? From the Nintendo Direct? And it looked like 
generic action figure and people want him for Brawl. I don't remember now, I'm feeling really stupid. And I, I, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. I know it has generic and action figures somewhere in there, I'm pretty sure. I could be just absolutely stupid and not remember this right, but... Alright, we're almost out of time here. I mean, we already beat the level and got all pink elements, so I'm perfectly fine, but... This is gonna be coming to a close, so let's just throw everything everywhere. Oh yeah, also, I might as well try to- Oh, I ran out of time. I was gonna try to explain- Oh jeez, that was glitching out over there on the left. And that's another funny thing about this game, is that everything glitches out. Um... In order to use stuff like EM Pulse Balls, you actually have to break it over the floor. And of course I got an S rank, this level's really easy. If you get all three pink elements in a stage, you will almost always get an S rank. If not an A rank. And of course, for every single pink element you collect, you get an extra mode. We unlocked all of these. I'll explain them really quick, and we'll try challenge mode really quick because that's a pretty easy mission. Oh, jeez, my bad there. All right. Well, we we unlocked mission number two, and there are 26 in the game, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe there's more. I don't recall. I remember mission 25 is a Christmas theme one, which is a little bit neat. But uh, for every pink element, you unlock more for a uh, a mission. And so we got score attack, which is just like time attack, it's less time than the actual mission, and you have to see how many watts you can collect during that time. Uh, Eternal Mission allows you to play a stage without time limits, but unfortunately Pink Elements don't count in that one. I mean, you need two of them anyways in order to get to it, but uh, Pink Elements won't count. It's mostly for the really large stages in the end of the game, so you can keep exploring them because you're not going to have enough time to explore everything in those stages. And uh, Challenge Mission has absolutely nothing to do with the stage. It will just throw random stuff at you, and uh, you'll have to do it, and these are typically just little fun mini-game things. And this one is actually kind of hard, I tried this because I recorded this beforehand, but my dazzle was having problems. You just gotta shoot really, really fast and try to get enough green elements. And I suggest going for ones that are far away because they'll give you a little bit more watts. And I guess try to keep crouched here, because... Uh, you're on eye level with the yellow bits and it's just a lot easier to catch them. But if you press this fast enough, you should be able to clear this mission. And I had six seconds left, which is nice. And we don't get to keep going, because it's a challenge mission. Challenge missions don't get you anything, I don't believe, but they're just there for fun. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and in the next part we will move on to mission number two. See you guys then.